All right. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to have a bigger tank up here at the top. But first things first, Science Junior. And then uh, a decoupler. Because that's always the best thing to do. At least I think so. Big old fuel tank here. And the little guy. And then another big old fuel tank. And the little guy. We'll do the little guy. I like the little guy. Because you don't need much propulsion once you're out in space. And let's go ahead and we'll throw some of these big tanks here. And, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be good right there. Definitely going to need some more parachutes. So we'll do the same. That actually worked pretty well. So I think we're going to do the same positioning for these parachutes. We landed in a way that made me feel pretty confident that if we continue to do that, success is just a little a bit away. So we'll continue to uh, do this. We want to get way out in space this time, though. That's our goal. I don't think we're going to need that, uh, that transmitter. I think we're going to come back. Famous last words from Scotty Garbitas. So now we need these TT-38K radial decouplers. And I think we're going to do this again where we put a buttload of these guys on. All right. And we're going to put solid rocket boosters in here. And I'm super excited about these guys because I didn't mention this before. But I think we're going to try and put some friends on there this time. Can we do that? Can we get these guys centered up here? We'll try this. We're going to put more solid rocket boosters on. And we'll see if these decouplers can even hold that kind of weight and wonkiness. But I think we're starting to look like something kind of weird and crazy. Yeah, this might this might pan out. Who knows? And should we do some wings here? Yeah, let's put some of these crazy wings on here. Just because, you know, wings. That'll help. That's what we were missing last time. And now it's time to launch the Science Dropper 4 into space. And uh, we have some high hopes here, guys. We have some real high hopes. I don't want to jinx us, so I'm not going to say what they are. But let's just say we're taking Jebediah with us because this is going to matter. When we get out here, we'll turn on the SAS. And we will double check our staging here. All right. I'm starting to wonder. You know what? I'm thinking we'll take these solid rocket boosters. And we're going to pull them down in here. But we will decouple these as they are. Did I not stage that in such a way? You know what? Let's go back. Let's go back to the Space Center. We didn't start this flight yet. Let's go back in here. All right, we've got that guy. Yeah, no decoupler in there, I don't think. There we go. All right, so then when we want these guys, we're going to have all those solid rocket boosters go. Then these will be staged correctly. What did I do in here? All right, there's that. There, that's the other issue right there. Didn't have a decoupler there. All right, now we made some modifications, but I 
feel like they are justified. We definitely are going to want these guys separated as well. And you're going to want this decoupler. Oh. Come on. Hopefully it saved that. What did I just do? I clicked on the exit. All right. There we go. All right. I think we're good now. Science Trapper 4. Technically still the Science Trapper 4. Clear the launch pad. Yes. Hopefully my uh, counterparts in this competition don't think I just cheated because I'd cleared a uh, ship. But I don't think I did. Ready? Three, two, one. Scotty, go. Nobody die. Oh, Bill Kerman, you're in. Not Jebediah. We'll roll with it. All right. We're just going to take these rockets as far as we can. Solid rocket boosters. One speed. All the way on. And if they get us above 7,000, I think we're doing better than last time. But I don't know that they're going to. Certainly doesn't look like it right now. I'm going to throttle up here so that we have to switch to the next engine. We'll be ready. Oh, we are doing better. We're at almost 10,000 here. I'm going to start turning here a little bit so I can get us how we're going to want to be. All right, that was pretty smooth. I feel pretty good about that. We need to start our turn though. So, let's see if we can pull this sucker off here. And get ourselves squared away with the horizon here. Come on, there we go. And rotate just a hair. There we go. There we go, guys. And let's throttle down a little bit. See how much throttle we can take off and still be gaining speed. We're doing pretty well. I'm excited. We're still gaining ground. I'm feeling really good here. Oh, throttle up a little bit there, Scotty. All right. Our apoapsis is... Wow, we're having some issues here. All right, continue. Continue climbing there. Yes. Slowly advancing it. I'm going to throttle up just a little bit more now that we're out of the atmosphere. See what that's doing to our apoapsis. I want it to really get up there. See if we can make it climb up to about 150. All right, we're technically, I believe, in space now. Now it's going to come back down. Oh, pulling the wrong way here. One hundred seventy three, one hundred fourteen. See if we can get to two hundred. That'll work for me. It's a pretty long burn, but I think we can pull it off. We've got quite a bit of fuel left here. All right. But we need to get some serious, serious science going here, which means we have to do something crazy. All right. We've got to risk nobody coming back, even though that would mean no science returning. We need to take some risks here, guys. 29 seconds until the burn. I want to get in an excellent orbit around the planet here. I want to see if getting up to 200,000 meters above 
the planet is enough to change the science I'm going to receive when I do a spacewalk and other things, or do I need to go someplace else? Someplace magical. Someplace that nobody thinks I'm going to be willing to go. Oh, we missed a turn or burn. We missed a burn window there. A couple seconds late. I was getting caught up in the, ma the majesty of the situation we're currently in. Look at that. Got the sun behind us. We're gonna lose this engine and it's gonna go back up to about a minute burn. So we'll see how that affects us here. Oh, two and a half minutes, holy smokes. This is gonna be one hell of a burn. We're probably gonna burn through this entire tank and ruin my plans for a, an amazing uh, escape to a magical place. But we'll see what happens here. Liquid fuel seems to be holding on pretty well. As we eject that last part of our ship back into the sun. That would be awesome. It stinks that I've kind of decided that this is all going to happen on the dark side of the planet here, but I guess it could be worse. All right. Come on. we got to stay on target or else it's going to screw with our time that we have left to burn. Oh man, guys, I'm super excited here. It looks like we are going the wrong way. We're actually getting closer to the planet here for a second. But hopefully that will slingshot us around. We're about halfway through this tank. Let's make sure that what I'm working on here, yeah? It's, that is what we're working towards here. 204,000 meters above the planet. We're at full bore with this engine. And likely we are going to burn through this entire engine just to do this burn. Maybe I need to make this second engine a little bit stronger. Maybe we'll do that on uh, episode three here. Maybe we're in episode three. I don't know how long this is going. It's going quite a while. But uh, I want to try and do something exciting here and get some science done. So, you know what? Once we get to uh, where we're in orbit, unless something drastic happens... I'll meet you guys there. You know what? Let's just stay. Let's stay. We got 21 seconds left. And then we're going to be either in orbit or we're not. We're going to have a little bit of fuel left in this tank, more than likely. This is the darkest, most boring shot in the game ever. All right. And... Cut the engines. And we can check off that maneuver there. And let's see how we're doing. All right, this periapsis is not, that's not gonna work. I don't know what the heck happened here, but our periapsis is all sorts of screwed up. So we need to do something to increase, increase our situation here. Because we are, at this moment, we are rapidly approaching the Earth. We're not in orbit. This is terrible. This is terrible. Well, yeah, this, this is not, this is not a good thing. Ah, oh, I had hoped this would not be the case. Nope, we're going to go this way. And we're just going to try and get up out of the atmosphere a little bit. And let's just fire it up. And hopefully we can get away from the planet. Because right now, things suck and are horrible. All right, so we are gaining altitude again. 
But we are gonna burn through all that fuel just trying to get back up out of the atmosphere. Son of a gun. I had hoped for more than this. Screwed it up, Scotty. Way to go. Alright, they technically are treating me as if I'm out of the atmosphere. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll throttle these engines down. That's coming down, but let's try and do a little time warp here. Come on. I want to get way out there. I am burning through a lot of time in the game here. This is technically going to screw up my position as far as the race. Watching this climb. Watching my altitude climb. I don't even... There's my ship. You can barely make it out. Doing all of our best work in the dark here. Alright, where's the MUN? See, we're in the wrong position for the MUN. I was thinking maybe we could go to the MUN. I don't know. We'll see. What's this, Minmus? The MUN. 542 meters per second 11 million is that what I said 11 million four hundred thousand meters so we got a ways to go before we get there what's can we warp this time anymore our mission's been like 15 minutes I think it says all right we might be able to get some real sweet views of the planet here if I can even figure out where we're at the Sun should be coming up over the horizon soon is it behind me here there we are and let's wait a second is that that's Minmus I see I believe no that be the Mun on the wrong side of the planet behind me and this is technically where we're headed I believe so let's go back to this let's zoom in get ourselves to this apoapsis and then see what else we can do to mess up what's going on here all right we've slowed down a little bit and that's still there the the mun is still opposite of where I'd like to be but what can I do That's a really long burn, I have a feeling. But we could technically maybe get out that way. Should we try it, guys? I think we should try it. All right. Let's go back this way. Let's find our target. This is going to be... We're probably just jumped into a new episode here. And you know what else we got to check? We got to check and see our orbit is all sorts of jacked up. Yeah. No, we want it this way. Because there we go. The MUN is technically pretty much on the same path. And see, that, that messes us up quite a bit. So let's try this again. That's actually better this time. It's less time. But it's going to be a while before we have an encounter with the moon. So that could be dangerous, or the moon. All right, 36 seconds. 933.6, whatever that is, M slash S is we got to do to get us out there I'm gonna speed us up just a hair get us within a few seconds and oh snap Scotty 
Three, two, one. We're missing our mark already. And fired up. Come on, we could do this. All right, we're about a third of the way there and it looks like we burned through a third of our fuel. Bill, I hope you're excited and love space because you may be out in space for a very, very, very long time. And if I did end up cutting this into two episodes, welcome back guys to a wonderful, beautiful, Cripple Space Program, the Gopher Craft's Great Space Race. Oh, we might actually be able to get out there and still have a little bit of fuel left, which would be freaking awesome. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Yes, Bill, we're going to go around the mun. All right. It says we have accomplished our goal there for a second. Let's check this out. Um, we went too far. That the, the truth of the matter is we have gone way too dang far out there. So let's go ahead. Let's speed this bad guy up here. And uh, can we do something that will allow us to... Yeah, let's try this. Let's add a maneuver. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. All right. Let's end this episode by doing an amazing, awesome, fantastic, crazy spacewalk way out in space. What do you say there, Bill? Is it time to... Uh... Why can't we do an EVA? All right. What is going on here? What has happened? Why can't we do anything? It seems like the game has locked up or something. I don't... Are we in some kind of weird glitch or something what's going on here come on let's um let's go to the space center that flight's still ongoing we'll go back to here and now we'll go back to the science dropper four that's a liquid fuel tank I don't, I don't think I want to shut down the engine. What's going on here? How come we cannot do anything super crazy? Like, there's a crew report. All right, five science crew reporting in from space. There we go. There's the EVA I was looking for. EVA report. You've recorded your observations about the situation. He's getting back on. Let's observe this materials bay. 25 science. The high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rocket with this. Awesome. And the mystery goo. 10 science. The goo feels right at home here. Hmm. Kind of weird. All right. Let's check out where the mun is all right the mun is not where we would want it to be it's going to be a long time before he gets into a situation so i think what we'll do is we will cut the episode here guys and then next episode we will find out if bill gets back home if we wait for us to have an encounter with the mun with bill and just leave him out here maybe get some more stuff done or whether or not we head back in and uh, try and do another mission and just get bill home until next time, guys, I'm Scotty Garbitas. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the Gophercraft Great Space Race, the race to the moon. Not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs>